All right. Yo, yo, yo. Uh, we are back. We are back. We're back uh, with a decent laptop, eh? Can you tell yeah, the difference, yeah. fellas? Some might say the quality, the camera quality. So far, you haven't lagged once. <laughs> For the audio. The, in, you haven't lagged yet? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a miracle. I used to pray, I used to pray for times like this, <laughs> dude. Uh, uh, the audio, audio. Does the, it sound any different, or does it sound? No, it still sounds the same. Oh, okay. I think the microphone you have is just yeah, a little get a new busted. Mic. Yeah, sure. well, luckily those are cheap. But uh, anyway, okay. for those watching, we are without um, we are without our Poopy. third winger, uh, oh, Anthony Poopy. Tomas. Uh, he is actually sergeant this weekend, as he is with his father doing some <laughs> uh, some fire training. Uh, and trying to do, uh, trying to do, what was it? Practicing like art, like uh, arson investigation and stuff like that. Yep. Yep. And he's at a big convention for fire and uh, rescue and stuff. So yeah, uh, but we do have a good shout episode for you. What was that? I said shout out Ant. Yeah, shout out Ant. Uh, we do have a good episode for you. We kind of got it jam packed. Uh, we even have a special guest coming on in just a minute. Um, before we jump into it, Zach, how was your, uh, how was your week? I know, I know it's been pretty, uh, pretty eventful. Dude, it's been hectic to say the least, but it's been good. I can't complain. What about you? It's been good. Uh, just coming back from vacation. Uh, went to San Diego. Yeah, how was for... San Diego? It was tough. Dude, bro. that was one tough. photo was so tough. Oh, dude, well, I got to hold on. Bro. I got to share this photo. I got to so share this photo. Um, I thought I was so like, was my... look at this. He's like, oh, my God. How did you even it was get my it? Dad's... set it up or what? No, Sage took it. Sage just took a bunch of photos of us, but it was my dad's birthday. So um, and we kind of went there, not necessarily for that, but for, for other things. And anyway, it, for me, I, I kind of like uh, smoking a nice cigar, uh, especially when I'm like celebrating. And so in this sense, Sage took some photos of us. And this one was one uh, I had to post on my story because it was actually, yeah, I don't know, well, it was kind of tough. Yeah. Um, me and my dad, hard. we actually, <clears throat> when we got here, we snuck on. So the we were in the hotel and the hotel like was locked. And my dad and I, like we went through like a bunch of these back rooms and uh, basically had to walk like half the hotel to get to like another back corridor to get us into the uh, into the hotel uh, pool. That's wild. That's so wild. it was kind of tough that we that we even like got in there. Um, let me go ahead and share my screen. But yeah, yeah. Me and my dude, dad just lighting is so hard, bro. Dude, it's so tough. And it's so down tough. jersey too. Uh huh. Had, had to rep hard the brand. Had to rep the brand. Uh, yeah, show some. Yeah, hat, I know. I know. Shout out. Hey. hey. Yeah. I, honestly, the pink corduroy is kind of tough. Anyway, San Diego was great. Um, San Diego oh, yeah. is fantastic. Great trip. Have nothing bad to say about it. I um. I was I was actually praying for nice weather and it was like 70 the whole time. No rain, no snow or snow, uh no rain, no wind, nothing. So it's great. Great time, great trip. Oh yeah. Dual use. I love the air. Anyway. I love the well let's uh like I said, we have a jam packed episode, so let's just jump into the uh the intro and we'll uh we'll get started, eh? Let's do it. Green 18. Red 48. Settle down, settle down. Wide 80, said hut. Colts at Patriots in Germany? Ah! <laughs> I didn't know I was in Germany. Oh, my God. Ah! Oh, and then I got some Schmidt and Schmout. For those who don't know what I'm talking about, in and out. Um, uh, it was great. They don't me. There it is. Yep. So, they... Oh, man. Let's keep this up for a second. All right, there's a lot going on. <laughs> ah, that last video always gets me. Uh, dude, that dad anyway, crazy, man. anyway, well, what like I said, you? we have a sp- yeah, we have a special guest in the building, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up, uh, a warm, warm show of hands and a nice applause for my main man, my former coworker, Berger Kelly. How's it going? Oh, Welcome. Let's Welcome. go. Wait, 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 wait. No, damn it. Do I even? Oh, I have it. <laughs> there he is there he nice is to crazy intro. blessed to be here blessed to be here ah, nice to be here um well bridger it's genuinely it's a pleasure i know we've been talking about this for for quite some time now even when i started it you had made a joke like dude i'll, I'll be on it 
And it just so happened that, that it kind of worked out where I had already invited you and then Anthony couldn't do it. So you filled in perfectly, um, which we appreciate. But uh, you are an avid Raiders fan, and I kind of want to. I've always been curious. I don't. I, I think we've oh, talked boy. about this, but really, yeah. And uh, I've I've always been kind of curious punch on how holes that in your happened. closets as well. I don't punch holes in my closets. Don't jump through <laughs> tables. I'm not a Bills Mafia guy. I know. Uh, you have a Raiders, yeah, I'm fan, a Raiders that, fan. Yeah, I am a Raiders. Yeah, we have a buddy that exactly uh, sure punched why, a hole in his closet. But, uh, I just yeah. I want to give myself pain. I think is the is the main goal. Of course. So tough, man. Um, well, did did anyone in your family – like, was anyone in your family a Raiders fan prior – like, how did the, how did, yeah. like, the fandom begin? Because you don't just pick it up. You don't, like, live in Idaho and be like, I'm going to be I'm gonna be a Raiders fan this year. Yeah, yeah no. There's some backstory to this. Let me give you a story here. So my, uh, my dad used to do punt, pass, and kick, and he went down to Denver Stadium a couple times. And so he was a Denver mm. Broncos fan growing up. My grandma was a Denver Broncos fan. My aunt is the one. She just wanted to rebel. So she became a Raiders fan. Mm. My brothers are Raiders fans. And then I was like, man, this team's pretty cool. So I became a Raiders fan ever mm. since. Uh, started watching in like probably 2010. And just went downhill <laughs> since then. Haven't, haven't seen a single good year. Derek Carr, we finally get the playoffs. And that guy snaps his leg. And, <laughs> and <laughs> all hope was lost. So <laughs> God. That's yeah, so that's – um, well, I know obviously it's tough being a Raiders fan. Like it is being a fan of most franchises in the NFL, but Raiders, I feel like are just, they're perpetually team, depressed. Like they can never, they can never exceed the expectations, especially in the regular season. You know, like you'll have your Dallas Cowboys that can get to the playoffs, but I feel like every year there's, there's those, those teams like the chart. I, I feel like it's an a, uh, NFC or AFC West thing too. There's so many no, expectations yeah. brought upon those teams other than the chiefs then they can't be fulfilled, but it's also because you have to play the Chiefs twice a year. So regardless of what you want to do, yeah. it goes through them. So no, absolutely. Um it's uh yeah. Like we had we had to deal with Peyton Manning while he was in Denver. And then Peyton Manning mm -hmm. leaves and we finally have our chance for two years and then Alex Smith leaves and they draft Patrick Mahomes and it's just freaking yeah. hell for the next two decades. Mm. Yeah. It's it's, tough. He's gonna be there forever. So um, what are the expectations for next year? Mm-hmm. My expectations are pretty high. Um, I mean, Actually? we bring in Antonio Pierce. Yeah, you name Antonio oh, yeah, Pierce, dude. the interim. He's a big, big, big um, Jane Daniels fan. He's got ties mm -hmm. to Jane Daniels. He coached him at Arizona State. So right. I hope we trade up and draft Jane Daniels. Love him. Um, we just need a quarterback. Yeah, Aiden O'Connell. Aiden right. O'Connell is just fat Derek Carr. Purdue, baby. He's not going to make it. He's not going to make it. <laughs> You didn't think you could get worse than Derek Carr, and then you got a fatter version. And just a fatter yeah. version. Yeah. Not next year, bro. Yeah. That's wild. That's funny. Yeah. Well, I mean, obviously. That's, and then that's you crazy, get... though, honestly, because I just talked to Tyler Lewis, who was our buddy that punched a hole in the closet, and he said the exact same thing. And I was talking to really? him, like, dude, if you can't get him, who else would you want at quarterback? So I guess that's my next question. Who would you want at quarterback? To if we Jane? can't get Jane Daniels. Mm -hmm. Um. I mean, honestly, I'm a big J.J. McCarthy guy, too. I think he gets really? a lot of hate. I don't want him in the yeah. – I do not want him. That's exactly he, what he said. That's exactly <laughs> what he said. He, he did Tyler not. Bridger. Yeah, I swear he, to God. He, he goes – he that. wants – he's like, if we can't if we can't have uh, Jade McDaniels – or Jane Daniels, I want uh, I want J.J. McCarthy. Right. Dude, great, main, great minds think alike. Yeah, I don't want him in the first round, but I do – I'd take him in the second round for sure. I don't want no Bo Nix. I don't want Michael Penix, too injury yeah. prone. So yeah. Penix worries me a little bit. I think Penix has the most upside, but he has the lowest floor. You know he I might think slip out of the first round, Keaton? I saw that. That's it's kind of wild crazy. after what he That's was able to do. Crazy, but, bro. but he was kind That's of a one bad game. game. Or mm -hmm. in that uh, Michigan game. But then, you right. know, I think about it. It's like, and we'll jump into, you know, the fun stuff, but we'll talk a little bit. I, I, I think, like, when I look at J.J. McCarthy, too, I don't see a guy that I'm like, this This is worth a first-round pick on. I think mm -hmm, because no. he won a national championship and because he played at a dominant Michigan led, led by uh, Blake Corum and a silly, goofy, funny defense that was just dominating the conference all, all the time, um, mm -hmm. I think he was able to ride the coattails of success, whether he was good or not. But I, I like I watch, the, I watch what he does, and I'm like, he's, he's literally the white Bryce Young. Like I don't see certain things that he makes, like decisions that he makes, where I'm like, this is this guy's got 
lottery pick potential, like fourth quarterback right. off the board type shit. So, no. yeah, I could see a second round pick being used on him though. Like, give him a year to develop under a system and and then throw him in. He should probably be a lot better. But right. I think he's like a Mac Jones style guy where you can't just throw him into the wolves. In yeah, a in a Raiders situation. system too. That's yeah. not to look too hot. I'm just so glad we got rid of McDaniel's, bro. I'm so happy. Oh, yeah. I'm so happy that yeah, you that was a big move. That was a big I remember move. we were uh, we were talking about after that game where he uh, he kicked that fi- or that he decided to kick oh, that field goal. God. What was it down like Dude. down yeah. eight or something, and he still decides to kick a field goal instead of a With touchdown? Like Thirty seconds left. I'm like, Dude, and you what? and you were literally like, I can't, I can't wait till this guy's gone. Like he's gone. Dude, it was sooner and later. What a terrible coach. What a terrible coach. Oh man, we just the amount of bad picks, dude. Too like our drafts since Mike Mayock was first there. I mean, yes. Alex Leatherwood and like oh, some of these God. awful players. They're not even the league, bro. First round picks. Yeah. We had yeah. we had so yeah. much so much ammunition from the Cleo Mack and Amari Cooper trade, and sad times. Nothing. 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 Yeah. Josh Jacobs, but that. he's not resigning. So that's tough as well. Yeah, he's a beast. I know. Who knows what happens? Anyway. Well, uh, anyway, Bridger, thanks for coming on. Uh, we yeah, appreciate seriously. having thanks you. For coming on, and uh, we're gonna do. We're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna start. We're gonna kind of introduce you to the settle down style, uh, the in the end zone brand. Uh, we're gonna start off with our recurring segment that will be a weekly thing, and um, we're gonna jump into the uh, the who wore it best uh, segment. This will have an intro next week. I have compiled audios. I will be. <laughs> Dang it. I didn't have it. I, I didn't thought have it. Dude, I was ready. I, was gone. I thought I was ready. No, That's I was right. gone on vacation. Okay. It's it's gonna take I'm a minute, so but it will be that. here next week. It will be here next That's week. Fair. Um. That's anyway, so last week we did a rank these jersey players by number zero, uh, and this one we're doing jersey number one. Obviously, as as the season goes by and it starts to speed up, or the off season, we'll go ahead and compile these into like multiple jerseys numbers and find the best players from each. But uh, for now, I have a list of ten players that we're gonna whittle down into our top five. And then we're just going to whittle them down into uh, our top three and, and find out who wore it best. So uh, I'll start off. We'll we'll start off with the cornerback group. Cam Sutton, Darion Kendrick, and Sauce Gardner. Cam Sutton had 17 games played, and it's one interception, six passes defensed, a forced fumble, and 65 tackles. Moving on to Darian Kendrick. Darian Kendrick uh, started in 12 games, had 49 tackles, a pass defense, no forced fumbles, and one uh, interception. Sauce Gardner, uh, 16 games played, 16 games started, 11 passes defensed, a forced fumble, 57 tackles, no interceptions, but when he was targeted, his uh, opposing QBR rate was 41%. So pretty shut down. Uh, moving into our non-cornerback round, Marcus Epps at four. Uh, he had 17 games started, three passes defensed, a forced fumble, 66 touchdowns, but four tackles for a loss. Uh, and then we get into our skill positions. Down? So, sixty-six tackles. Sorry. Damn, uh, so we get into man. our skill position. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it's like hundred fifty. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, anyway, so we get into our skill positions. We have Jalen Hurts, sixty-five and a half percent completion percentage, 38, uh, 3,800 yards, twenty-five touchdowns, fifteen interceptions, but fifteen rushing touchdowns. Uh, Jalen Fields, sixty-one completion percentage. Uh, 2,500 yards, about 2,600 yards, uh, 16 touchdowns, nine interceptions, four rushing touchdowns. Uh, Kyler Murray, 65, 66% completion percentage, 1,800 yards, 10 touchdowns, five interceptions, three rushing touchdowns. He only played for like a third of the season. Uh, Tua, 69.3% completion percentage, 4,624 yards. 29 touchdowns, 14 interceptions. And then rounding out our last two players, we have Jamar Chase with 100 receptions, 1,200 yards, seven touchdowns on a 70% completion or catching percentage. And then uh, our other wide receiver, Devontae Parker, 33 receptions, 394 yards, zero touchdowns, and a 60% completion per, or completion catch completion percentage, whatever the stat is. So, um, that is our 10 players, Cam Sutton, Darion Kendrick, Sauce Gardner, Marcus Epps, Jalen Hurts, Justin Fields, Kyler, Tua, Jamar Chase, and Devontae Parker. Um, I feel like pretty easily we can whittle away a few players. Bridger, I, I want to hear who are like your your three get them the hell out of here players. 
They don't belong in. Who are my three? Yeah, it's like to pick three, bro. I'm a hater. Well, um, well, we'll start with three. We'll start with three. Okay, <laughs> because we need to. Okay, you know, let's start with three. All right, Marcus Epps. I know him. I know him far too well. Far too well <laughs> as a Raider fan. Get that guy out of here. He's a goober. And okay, then he's out. Uh, we're cutting Devontae Parker for sure. Guy used to be really, really good. He's just old now. He plays on a terrible Patriots team. It's not his fault. No. Mac Jones is his quarterback. Nobody's going to succeed. Dude, what and about Bailey Zappi, bro? Don't forget about him. That's true, Bailey bro. Crappy. I like Bailey Zappi. I like Bailey Zappi. <laughs> Honestly, he's low key. A I beast. do like Bailey Zappi. Guys, a guy was a goat in college. He he, he led the league or the uh, NCAA in touchdowns. Um, right. I believe it. Take a look. And then, as much as I love some of these other players, I actually do like Darian Kendrick and Cam Sutton. But um, we're gonna have to get rid of Cam Sutton. Um, okay. Not a big Lions guy, so we'll get rid of him for now. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Okay. Uh, well, that okay. rounds out. Cam so Sutton that hosted in the playoffs, bro. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. man was yeah, a for like three weeks in a row. So. That's Cam Sutton kind of got cooked by a lot of teams. Yeah. So. I don't think the whole uh, year, but playoffs yeah. specifically. Geno Smith owns Cam Sutton's career. Let's just put that there. Okay. Here we go. It's true. It's true. Here he we balls. Go. He balls every year against the Lions. Uh, well, okay, okay, so that leaves us with, in, in, and this is seven spots left, Darian Kendrick, Sauce, Jalen Hurts, Justin Fields, Kyler, Tua, and Jamar. Um, Zach, let's just go ahead and eliminate. I'm going to have you eliminate one player, and then I'm going to eliminate one player. I feel like it's going to be unanimous. Yeah, we're it's pretty take obvious. Off. Darian Kendrick should be out of there, and then I'll let you okay. say the other one. I would hope you say okay. one. Like it. Well, this is the tough God. one because uh, – God. It's not well, we, It's such an easy pick here. Keaton, well, don't okay, do I can't this. pick. Don't be controversial. I'm not going to be controversial. I'm not making clips here. I'm making thumbnails. Dude. All right. Um, <laughs> honestly, if I'm taking anyone out, I'm taking out. I'm taking out Justin Fields. Thank God. I thought okay. you were going to say someone else. Okay, that's good. Well, right pick. I was think. I was thinking Sauce Gardner. I'm not going to lie. I looked at his numbers. Granted, he does not get targeted a lot. He did not get targeted a lot. But I'm looking at his numbers. He kind of stunk it up this year, and somehow he was actually worse this year statistically in uh, in both opposing QBR percentage and uh, like raw actual like sports reference stats. Um, and somehow still finished All Pro one. So uh, still touchdown li- or still interception list this year. So good for the guy. Uh, anyway, whatever. I can't stand Sauce Gardner. Um, okay, so that leaves our top five which I think was going to be unanimous. Jamar, Tua, Kyler, Jalen, Sauce. Um, There's a lot of – there's mostly QBs on this list. We have the most valuable wide receiver, um, probably the top three wide receiver in the NFL and the most valuable on his team by far. Um, Kyler, who plays on a very frustrating Cardinals team, but made him look pretty competitive when he was back on the field. Jalen Hurts, who's an MVP caliber quarterback, if the rest of his team is playing very well. And um, obviously, we just talked about Sauce Gardner. He is like kind of the only bright spot on that uh, Jets defensive team or the defensive backs um, kind of spot. And then Tua, who probably had the best statistical year out of all these quarterbacks, but uh, just kind of underperforms in a lot of big situations. So. I think this is kind of tough because last round it wasn't nearly as quarterback heavy. And if I was mm-hmm. a GM, I would pick a quarterback over most teams or most uh, players for any of the teams. Right. And so I look at this okay. list. I'm like, damn, we have three quarterbacks that are pretty decent. Um, but without looking at quarterbacks and just basing it off of who I think is the most valuable or who I would pick first, if I had the first pick overall, out of these five players, I think this would be my list. Number five, I'd go Kyler. And I think Kyler could jump this list if he was healthy because when he does play healthy, he's an MVP caliber type of player Mm -hmm. and an MVP candidate, but he hasn't played enough healthy games. And then I would go Tua, um, which might be a little low because he did have a good year, but he doesn't get it done when it matters, and that really bothers me for a quarterback. Keaton's going to say something later about that. I know it. Number three, I have Jamar because, again, like you said, I think he's probably one of the most valuable wide receivers in the league, top five, maybe top three, like you said. 
Number two, I have Jalen. I don't think he had as good of a year, but I do think he's still a top 10 quarterback and has extreme uh, upside. And then number one, I would put Sauce. And it's just because a valuable quarterback is more valuable than any other position in the league. Besides maybe being okay. dead and quarterback. So are you saying so you're saying you would you that's who you draft first and then sauce would be your last pick, right? No, I would pick I would pick sauce first. Oh, so you're that going sauce. Okay. Yeah. So I would go if my top three was me picking players or me basing it off of who I think is the most valuable, I'd go sauce at number one, Jalen at number two, Jamar at three, two at four, Kyler at five. Okay. But again, I think this list is tough, dude. Like, they could there's be really of, anywhere. Besides, a lot of good I think Kyler should be five. I think the rest mm-hmm. of four is kind of up in the air. I don't know. Yeah. But I mean, that's up to you guys. Unless you put Sauce at five because you're a hater, Keaton. Um, I <laughs> look. I'll, I'll be. I'll be completely frank. I fucking. I. I hate Sauce Gardner with a passion. Um. Can't stand That's the guy. Crazy. It's not. It's nothing that he did. It's nothing that he did. Smile. But, but they. But they. But they included. But they included Tariq Woolen with Sauce Gardner, and they just they clowned oh on. They, no. 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 They. They clowned on. They clowned on Tariq Woolen, even though I think statistically he had a better year that rookie year. And now this year they've separated each other, and and Sauce is the better player. I will own up to that. But I also think that Sauce Gardner is the most uh, ball ridden meat meat slobbed on cornerback <laughs> we have in the nfl so uh but if i'm just doing this if i'm if i'm doing this on a general like a like a genuine no bias no hate uh draft i'm taking i personally am probably taking kyler murray with my first overall pick i think of all i think of all the players and and you guys are gonna look at me like i'm crazy i think of all the players he has the most talent raw talent I don't think there's another player I have seen in the NFL that has thrown while he's scrambling backwards off his back foot, just tossed it up there and thrown 55 yards right into a, uh, right into his uh, receiver's pocket, right in the end zone. I there's not many players like that. There's not many players that can scramble like he can. But on the contrary, he is injury prone, and he didn't have a great year this year, consisting with injuries. But when he came back in, he was he made that team Electric. look decent again. He yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Um, he had Seattle on its toes, which, you know, then again, who, what team didn't Aiden O'Connell would probably put up a thousand yards against him. So I take Kyler Murray, uh, and then I would more than likely take Jamar chase, um, just based on talent. I go sauce Gardner. I would probably go Tua and then Jalen hurts. And the reason I say Jalen hurts is if you take out the rushing touchdowns, he really didn't have a great year. Uh, he was below Kyler in completion percentage and Tua. He still had 15 interceptions uh, on 25 touchdowns, but he had 15 rushing touchdowns. But you have to think those rushing touchdowns are literally tush pushes. And I think tush pushes have a big asterisk next to him. Um, mm-hmm. And really, he had a terrible year. He could not play well. That defense couldn't That's do fair. anything. And and they That's lost. Fair. I mean, he lost to Drew Locke. He got outdueled by Drew Locke. When that happens, yeah, that was so tough. Worst though. cock lock on national television, you're at the bottom. That of was so list. hard, though. So, yeah. So go Kyler, Jamar, Sauce, Tua, and Jalen. Um, Bridger, go ahead. Go with your uh, your top five. Okay. This is an interesting one. Some interesting arguments. Um, I think my number one, I was thinking Jalen Hurts for a while, but I just, because I'm so against the Jalen Hurts haters, but like you said, dude, he's just, this year was just not, it was not as good as it was has been in the past. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go two at one. Um, I don't think two is like the best quarterback, but when he gets to throw over the middle and he gets to throw to the track team they have over there in Miami, it's pretty mm-hmm. easy for him. So he was, looks like an MVP candidate. I mean, he had great numbers. So I'm going to put him at one. Um, I'm going to throw Jamar at two. Um, I love Jamar chase. He's a baller. Um, even without Joe ball. Burrow, he was still, he was still pimping it this year. Um, mm-hmm. I'm going to throw sauce at three. I'm a big sauce gardener guy. So that sauce slander, I will not stand for it. We're not. Yeah. Here too. I'm a big, yeah. huge not, sauce guy. <laughs> not here for huge it. Okay. Sauce guy. <laughs> and then Kyler, Kyler or Jalen Hurts. I'm going to go Jalen Hurts uh, first. I do like Kyler Murray. I think he's a good player, but um, just because he was injured a lot of the season, I'm not going to give him a ton of credit. And he played in a lot of games that didn't really matter because they sucked so bad. 
So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna really count those as much. Point. So I'm gonna go. That is a good point. Um, it'll be Tua, Jamar, Sauce, and then um, Jalen Hurts and Kyler Murray to round out the five. Wow! Oh yeah. Once again, all uh all of us have different number one, twos, and threes. Uh, some of us have completely opposite ones and mm-hmm. vibes. Uh, but yeah, that's 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 it. I mean, obviously, it's it's. I think it's very. Um, it's off of like what you've seen. There might be some bias with this, but whatever. But it's tough. It's tough. One one is commonly, you know, it's like it's a skill position jersey. Um, There is some cockiness to wearing that number, and it's more common than zero. Mm -hmm. As we get later into the numbers, we're going to see some like insane rounds. So I was going to say that once we get into the twenties, bro, the running backs are going to dominate. That is going to be a tough list. There are going to be some tough lists for sure. But this was a good one. This one I think was definitely more tough than last time. Mm-hmm. It was it was a good one. Um, well, hey, let's let's uh, let's move on. We've spent uh, some time on on this topic. Uh, we have a mm-hmm. we have kind of a fun we have a fun one coming up. So yes, this do. is something when when Anthony and I were or when Aunt Zach and I were trying to figure out what we wanted to do and some fun stuff. This is something that I figured uh, would be kind of a cool thing. I've always been a fan of the random number generator RNG based stuff. So, uh, without further ado, we have a we have a new little game we're introducing. So it's a it's a spin the NFL team and uh, or spin the I guess spin your roster, right? Uh, basically, I have a I have a uh, a little wheel here that I will highlight. When I spin it, uh, it will land on an NFL team. And starting with Bridger, as he is the first in the snake draft, he has to pick a either a quarterback. One of the two wide receivers that they have on that roster, a running back, a tight end, or a head coach. Um, wow, whichever he picks, coaches. yeah, yeah, which whichever he picks, he cannot like that person cannot pick that same person. So if 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 it landed on the Seahawks and he took DK Metcalf, I could not go back in and say, Hey, I want DK or you know, whatever. We couldn't pick the same players. Once that team has been picked, it does get removed off the wheel, but each of us will pick off that team. So uh, I'll go ahead and get it started. Um, Bridger, this will be your first pick. So it is going to land. No, wow. No. Wow. Oh. That's so dumb. Wow. wow. Okay. Well, that's easy. Am so I it second? is the Kansas City Chiefs. I am second. Fuck. But if I'm you want, if you want, it. we can do we can do we, have we can do it. We have three bangers. Yeah, I mean, you, you can. Matter. It doesn't matter. You can eliminate anything. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Bridger, go ahead and just pick. I think. I think. I feel like you. You want to take Kadarius Tony pick. here. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Does Anthony Schwartz, the guard, still play for this team? <laughs> um, well, okay. Marquez yeah, Valdez Scantling was released, so you can't Michael pick Hardman. Yeah. Michael Hardman talks Kadarius about yeah. and That's the kind yeah. of team I want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. No. Um, as a Raiders fan, this is I hate this guy with a passion, but Slam dunk, he's the great, he's the best quarterback in the NFL. I'm taking I'm taking Patrick Mahomes pretty easily. Okay, that's that's a slam dunk. That is a slam dunk. Um, here I'm just gonna write that in. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna just I'm gonna pick my pick. Uh, it's Travis yeah, Kelsey. Boy. I don't I don't think. Um, I was thinking Andy Reid, but I think. Oh my God! You just bubble. You just bubble. Give me Andy Reid. Okay, that's, that's fair. Game. That's fair. Oh my God! I don't. I, I don't think he's the best head coach. I think, bro, he draws Holy up plays shit. on the cheeseburger wrapper. He's the goat. That's true, that's true, that's true. Okay, well that well that team's eliminated. Man, but I also, but that's the best tight end in the league, and and yeah, statistically he has been for the last few years. I didn't want to get that's stuck fair. with like a, you know, a Chargers tight end. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and spin the next one. So Zach, you're gonna be the guy that's starting this off, um, okay. and we'll go ahead and get it moving. So come on, baby. Uh, this is gonna land on. Ooh, Denver. Ooh, what is Yuck. what can be done from Denver? So we have a quarterback, two wide receivers, a tight end, and a head coach. Yep. Jesus Christ, dude. Yeah. Fucking hell. <sighs> what, what could you do? Well, do actually, we uh, there's some good picks. <laughs> no, no, no. There's some good picks here. We don't have running back, do we? No running backs? We have running backs. We have running backs. Hmm. I think there's there's two different routes you can go about this. It depends on how you're trying to build your roster. Jared so. Stidham's still there, bro. Yeah. I think I'm going to go Javante Williams. 
He's young, oh, has a lot of potential. God. Thank God. And okay, I don't think running back is that valuable. Okay. Um, Who are you thinking? I'm just writing that down. Corlin Sutton? Yes, I am. Yeah, I knew you were. Um, There's better wide receivers. I I agree, but I think uh, I think Cortland. Honestly, when you give Cortland a good receiver, we see what happens, and he was the number one guy. Also, yeah, what a great, fall off! Great year. Yeah, he did. Uh, what a what is it? Jerry Judy. What a fall off for Jerry Judy. Yeah, dude, he's a fucking on this bum. roster. Guy sucks. Bridger, go ahead and uh, go ahead and, and technically Russell Wilson. I was going to say is still on the team, but you can't pick him because you picked Mahomes. And why would you? So okay, hold uh, up. By ahead. the way, Jerry Judy. At least he's not Henry Ruggs. Okay, so. <laughs> No, that's a good <laughs> point. Him to his teammate. Same year, all right? Man, Raiders, good. they know how to pick him. Okay, yeah, you took do. Cortland Sutton. I did. Mm. So that leaves uh, two – what, that leaves a running back? Uh, oh, no, did you take – Javante Williams. You took Javante Williams, right? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. So that leaves a wide receiver, a tight end. You can Head pick uh, Sean Payton. You can back. Pick. Dude, Sean Payton might like have to be the I don't want – I do not want Jerry Judy – Denzel Mims. Oh. And their tight end. I mean, I'd take Greg Dolchitz, but he wasn't even the starter because he sucks. I'm gonna go with uh I'm gonna go Sean Payton as my coach. Okay. Hopefully he uh okay. he doesn't beat any of my players like Urban Meyer, but he probably will. Yeah, okay. no kidding. Well it's Didn't like Mims have like a two hundred yard game last year? Like something crazy. Mims, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Dude. It was all like three catches too. No sense. Yeah. That's okay, well that's uh two that's a, that's two head coaches off the board. We're going to eliminate this team. And we're going to jump back into spinning the next one. Bridger, you're going to be first up. Uh, available for you after Wait, this. Keen, oh, you it's no, Keaton. Yeah, no, Keaton just, it. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, yeah. cool. Um, well, I have not taken oh, a running dude. back. So I'm going to take Saquon. Oh, um, my God. I'm so fucked. He can't stay healthy. He can't stay healthy. But uh, um, you know what? That's okay. I can I can use him for like half a season. When Travis Kelsey's fucking Taylor for the other half. So, okay, that's my running back, which means mm. Zach and I are both filled out. Is and it my what pick is this? Or is it, 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 it is. <laughs> uh, yeah, I believe I believe it's Zach's pick, and then it's Bridgers running up the third. Oh my god, dude! So what do I have left? Two wide receivers. A quarterback and a tight end. You need two. Yes. Yep. Give me Darren Waller. Otherwise, I'm fucked. I mean, I'm fucking That's kind away, of dude. I'm fucking yeah. away. Like, what about yeah. Tommy DeVito? Yeah. <laughs> cutlets. <laughs> Tommy Cutlets. <laughs> Tommy Cutlets, man. Give me Danny DeVito's cousin. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's hilarious. Well, who are you thinking of, BK? Hey. Dude, this team sucks. I could go Devontae Booker. I could go Darius Slayton. Like, none of these guys are very good. Yeah. Um, Sterling Shepard, uh, if he's still giant. Is he still on the Giants? Let me take a look here. I think, so. I, think I have a good idea. I had him. I like this guy. Yeah, yeah good slot good. receiver. Not going to be very good, but I like him. Give me Wandell Robinson, man. I like Wandell Ooh. Robinson. Wandell Robinson. I like that. I like that. That's a good one. With Mahomes, um, we're good. We're good. Yeah, you don't need anyone. As long as he's better than Tony, you should yeah. be fine. All right. Well, <laughs> sweet. So uh, that that means Zach is going to be first up. Bridger will be going second again, and then I will be going last up for this one. Ah, boy. Come so, on. Let's Quarterback. see. This is a big one. Oh, Devontae. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Oh, that's a good pick. All right. Good pick. Okay. Whew, dude, I might be saving quarterback for the end, which is not ideal. I'm gonna be. I'm, I'm quarterback ideal. till the end too. So. Oh my god. Am I up? Yep. I mean, since we're counting it, we counted Saquon, and he's he's a free agent now, but he was in the team last year. I'm going. I'm going. Josh Jacobs. Josh Jacobs. That's Smart that, okay. That's a good pick. Smart pick. Um. Well, okay. I, if that's the case, then I'm gonna take. Um, hold on. Just writing this down. Uh, I'm going to take Pierce, head coach. Mm, um, I like that pick. I think pick. I, I I don't really want to burn Aiden O'Connell or Jimmy Garoppolo as my quarterbacks. <laughs> uh, so 
What about so, Brian yeah. Hoyer? You're be Brian under Hoyer. Average. Yeah, that Brian is, Hoyer. Actually, I'm more of a Brandon Bean guy average. myself. That is for damn yeah. sure. I could have all 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 time all time skill positions. Then I've Mac Jones's QB, and that's it. Um, Absolutely fuck. Yeah. So I think it's myself, Zach, then Bridger um, for this next one. I don't know. We're kind of just. I think we're just, just going down the line. Whatever. So far. <sighs> Fuck. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. Let me let me see what I need. Let me see what I need. So I have a tight end, a wide receiver, a running back, a head coach, and um, man. So I can either go quarterback, Derek Carr. So I'm only going to get six games. Or dude, James is better. Uh, yeah, that's no, he is. He is. He is for sure, bro. For cheaper. Is he that um, w, or... Give me that. <laughs> uh, okay, so oh, I can take a. No, I was gonna say I could take a tight end. Do you need I a think back? I'm gonna have. No, no. Mm. I think honestly, I'm gonna have to just. Hold on, let me let me double check. I don't want to. Uh... No, 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 just go with your gut. No, 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 no. I just want to double yeah. check that I'm not. Michael Thomas, I'm not... you want him I... so bad. I don't want to fumble this, and I just want to. Okay, okay, okay. It was Chris Olave, but I just Fuck. I wanted to be a hundred percent sure that I wasn't missing anyone. Um, okay, so that rounds out my wide receivers, and now literally all I can take is a quarterback. So this could make or break it. Uh, Zach, go ahead and pick who your pick is. What do I need? Fuck me, dude. Uh, let's see. So you need I'm so fried. Uh, you have a head coach, a running back, a tight end, and a wide receiver. So you need another wide receiver or a quarterback. We're in the okay. same boat. Well, I'm looking at this team, and I was hoping you didn't see Olave because I wanted him to be my I had to double too, check. But who were you going to pick, check. Michael Thomas? Well, it was between him and I go, God, there's. I know they they have a star wide receiver, oh, and I dude. literally couldn't remember the name. So that was why it's I had Rashid to Shahid, up. man. Rashid Shahid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to go. I'm going to go with Rashid Shaheed. Okay. He actually had a good, good year. He's a deep threat, dude. Yeah, dude. Him and Devontae okay. might be actually a little bit dangerous. So Zach and I save our quarterbacks till the very end. This is this oh. is where it literally could be make or break. Um, Bridger, go ahead and round out your uh... – Wait, King, we're fucked. Why? Wait, you're fucked. You're fucked. Why? Because you're going to get a backup. <sighs> <laughs> I'm dude, up. hope you get the Cowboys. Hope Carr. you get the Cowboys. So you can get Trey Lance. <laughs> You're fucked, dude. Okay, if I get Seattle though, I'm not. I'm not pissed. That's the only. That's the only scenario that works for me. Or uh, Bridget, go back. <gasps> walk, right? Go go back ah! to get Derek Carr and give me uh, Chris Olave. No, 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 no. We're not making trades. We're not. I, I ride or die. That's crazy. That's crazy. There's a few. There's a few situations where this could work. Bridger, go ahead and pick your uh, pick your guy. Not a lot. Give me. Uh, it's between. I'm. I'm going tight end here. It's either Juwan Johnson or Taysom Hill. I gotta pick. I gotta pick the goat himself, Taysom Hill. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Swiss Army hard working. Knife. I like it. Hard working. Swiss Army, Army knife, man. dude. <laughs> Blue collar man from BY. Big weight room guy. Yeah. Yeah. I'd let that guy take my daughter out, you know? High character. High character guy right there. High, high character, character, high skill, you know, intelligent. Oh, God. Financial guy, cheap. you know? He's a financial, financial guy. is crazy. Okay, <laughs> so that, that means, uh, Bridger, your next pick has oh, to be a receiver. Shit. And, Zach, your next pick is a quarterback. Come my on. next pick is a quarterback. Come this on. screwed me. I'm, I'm, I'm – God damn it, man. This sucks. Am I at one again yet? Uh, no, you are second. You're second, what? which doesn't, no, no, it doesn't no, no, matter. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter. Yeah, you gotta go it first. doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Fuck, dude, that means I won't win a playoff game, but give me two. Uh... Oh. Dude, this okay. is brutal. This is brutal. This sucks. This sucks. Dude, our this teams legit. are brutal. <laughs> no, our teams are good. It's just our quarterbacks now suck. Your quarterback's good. I have to. Who do you get? Uh, Who's their backup? I don't know. Bridger, Bridger, uh, go ahead and go ahead and pick your wide receiver. I feel like it's definitely going to be uh, oh, know, definitely Tyree. not Tyree Kill. Yeah. Looks like you're wrong. Who is the backup? He's a, he's a white dude. Or Skyler Thompson. <laughs> okay, that's not Skyler the worst. Thompson, that's the one. Ah, that's not the worst. Skyler Thompson is kind of a winner. I hate to say. He goes hard, man. He goes hard. Blue collar guy. Blue collar guy. <laughs> you know, guy big weight room guy. Goes hard in the paint. 
I have to go Skylar Thompson. Mike White had like a few good games with the Jets, but I actually think Skylar Thompson, when he came in for those few games, was actually kind of electric until teams figured him out. Uh, which means that my team just got obliterated. Although, um, damn it, I, I should. I literally was looking at what I was typing, and I still still should have gone quarterback. Um, well, okay. Keaton, tell us the teams. Okay, so Bridger, your team is quarterback Patrick Mahomes, led by his. Wonderful, or I guess I guess your team is Sean Payton at head coach, led by his wonderful team featuring Patrick Mahomes, uh, Quando Robbins or Wandale Robinson. That's a mistake. Uh, wait, who was your Jacobs? No, 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 no. Am I missing someone? Did you not take a quarterback, or did you not take a second wide receiver? I had Mahomes, Jacobs, Tyreek Hill, Wandale Robinson. Oh, Tyreek. That's right. Okay, okay. That's why. That's why. Your team clears. Yeah, so he had uh, Chiefs, Wondell bro. Robinson. Oh, yeah. Wondell Robinson and, and Tyreek Hill at, at wide receiver. Taysom Hill at tight end. Josh Jacobs is his running back. And uh, that's his list. That's his list. Uh, Taysom Hill at tight end. So um, I'm going to read off mine. I actually thought I started well. I went uh, my head coach. Um, hold on. Sorry. I just My screen just popped up with something weird. Um, what are you clicking on, Keaton? Yeah, here we go. Nothing. No, I literally just I I just lost my. Uh, I, no, I lost my screen. I lost my screen. Nothing, 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 nothing. It's my pants <laughs> fell down. Um, no, I have Antonio Pierce. Sorry, I had to pull this back up. Antonio Pierce is my head coach. Uh, my quarterback, unfortunately, is Skylar Thompson. Portland Sutton and Chris Olave are my wide receivers. I have Travis Kelsey as my tight end. And uh, Saquon Barkley at running back. Uh, Zach les ha- Andy Reid and uh, oh man, this is ugly. Um, <laughs> Tua Tua Tagovailoa as his quarterback. Darren Waller at tight end. Javante Williams at running back. And Rashid Shahid and Devonte Williams or Devonte oh, Adams, God. sorry, a running back. So the lesson to be learned here is that filled with mid players. The lesson to be learned here is that it, it takes a guest. It takes a guest on our podcast to obliterate two guys that have been doing a podcast for <laughs> over a year. Right. No, that's real, that's no. what we've learned. Right. Real, um, it, I I want to figure out if there's a way I could like not not tonight, obviously, but if there's a way I could have run a simulation of these teams and see how many wins they'd get. That's definitely going to be mm. something that that I'll have to work out. We'll hook up Madden. That's, I got Madden right now. We'll pull it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tyler Thompson's going to cook, dude. That's 67 speed. Uh, Ugh. Uh, well, that's it. That's, Your team uh, is literally just the Giants. It might as well be. It's so hit or miss. It, this team could like boom. This team is so boomer bust. Mm-mm. So Your team's fucked. You have a backup quarterback. Fucked. Hey, he won a few games this year. Not a lot. Well, you know, whatever, man. Um, <laughs> that's you know, that's it. That's our that's our uh, that's our spin for the NFL team or spin for the. Uh, I don't know. Spin for the wins. I, I got to come up with a name for it. That's that. Um, obviously, it'll be a little bit more refined as we go along, but that was our first time doing it. And I'm, I'm going to make a graphic for it next time, too, and, and see what we can do for it. Uh, anyway, uh, real quick, we're going to we're going to finish up with our last game here before we say goodbye to uh, Bridger and say goodbye for the podcast to the podcast for the week. Um, this is a, a fun little game. We're just going to draft our number one player who we would most want as a bodyguard. Uh, I'll drop a little context for you. We are big pop stars. Uh, we just came off tour. We're in like Atlanta, Georgia, and someone thinks we said something we shouldn't have, and they come pressing <laughs> us. And we need someone to defend our character and defend uh, us. Who is that one player that that you're having defend you? And I'll go ahead and, and – Bridger, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put you at second. I'm going to go ahead and start with Zach tonight to, for this since this was oh. his idea. Oh, you just gave me the easiest choice of the night. Oh, I'm gonna be so. Give me the man, the myth, the legend, Trent Williams. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Time that. that was literally question. number one on my list. Not a good okay. question. I think there's a clear number two and a clear number three, though. Actually, I do I too. I do too. Iffy, but well, go for it. Uh, okay, so my, Trent Williams is off the board. Fuck. Okay. You're gonna give me the number one pick, bro. I That's know. I know. I, was being nice. I know. That's fair. That's fair. All right. Uh, Who am I picking here? I'm between a couple guys here. We got 
Trent Brown, who's the biggest guy in the NFL, 370, okay? Mm -hmm. Then we've got Aaron Donald, who's just Aaron Donald, bro. Mm -hmm. And then in third, I got a sleeper. We got Quandre Diggs, you know, that guy who was pointing gunpoint at people at a poker party? That guy? (laughs) That's who I want, okay? Shout out my free safety. Shout out my free safety. (laughs) I'm going to go – I'm going to go Aaron Donald. That guy benches like 800 pounds. And uh, right. he's just a big dude. That's who, that's who I want on my team. I don't care if he's old. He's a goat. Mm-hmm. I love that. Um, well, I, I actually have two players that I don't think it was either on or was on either of your boards. I have Panay Sewell. Dude, who I was kind please of thinking tell me. About. Well, wait, Keen, tell me the next name because I'll literally show you my screen. He's a he's a white guy that could definitely pass as oh, black, no, and no he no. plays for the Raiders. Oh, that's a great uh, pick. That's a great yeah. pick. I didn't think about Max that. Max Crosby. I I think I picked Max Crosby just because I feel Damn. like he's kind of light skin in the sense that he could diffuse a situation yeah. confidently yeah. with Riz. But then also he's fast and scary and strong as yeah. hell. Okay. That's so okay. um, we definitely forgot. I, I say it's about. Max Crosby. Well, okay, I'll have Miles Garrett on my list. Okay, thank you, thank you. Thank you. I, I mean, Miles Garrett, a but, fucking uh, helmet, he's throwing any white person yeah, in that bar. Good. But you know what? Miles Garrett also didn't record a – he recorded <laughs> one sack through uh, through the last – Okay. what is it? Eight games. So I can't yep. trust them to defend me. But I can trust Max Crosby. That's right. So. Especially against the run, though. Shout yeah, out Max exactly. Crosby. Exactly. That guy starts running away. Max Crosby is going to chase him down. Mm-hmm. So – Anyway, well, that's been our episode. Uh, it was kind of just a fun one. Got to introduce Bridger to the pod and introduce everyone to Bridger, who is uh, actually, I think, truly one of the the smartest football people I know. Uh, just truly. It's true. It's true. Talking to you and like, you know, game. Don't give me that. Like, Don't give me that. Just, <laughs> you know ball. You I know wake ball. up at 11 and I watch seven hours of commercial free football with free Scott football. Hanson and I'm rocking and rolling. <laughs> You're not an Andrew Siciliano guy? That's a nah, dude, with the, you mean satellite dish, dude? Yes. <laughs> oh, he can actually pick up on like what's happening before it even happens because he actually that guy's got him. AM and FM, bro. <laughs> he's got satellite, yeah, XM, AM, FM, Bluetooth. Yeah, he's got serious XM. <laughs> the Bluetooth device is a paired. Oh my god, um, dude, that's crazy. Well, yeah, it's been a it's been a pleasure. I'm gonna go ahead and. There are a little intro song out there. And Bridger, was there anything you wanted to say to the probably seven people that are still somehow watching? Six, <laughs> by the way, six. I was the yeah. seventh, so it's only six now. No, um, but yeah, grateful to be on the podcast, man. Uh, hoping when you make it millions of millions of dollars in the future, I can mm-hmm. sue you for royalties for this one episode. So yes, that's yes, yes, yes. that's there. You go, there you go. Well, I'll just give you, you a cut of the really are, Fred. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Well, we're going to have yeah, to have you on again nice. sometime soon, yeah, especially around the draft. That was a pleasure. Um, I, I think you'll be one of our picks. So uh, it's yeah, been an absolute pleasure. Thanks for everyone who uh, tuned in. Thanks for uh, watching us run some fun games and uh, have a great rest of your night. Like and subscribe. Peace. Like and subscribe.